First, new developments this evening in a case that we have been following for a decade. Jacoby Flowers will spend the next 40 years in prison for the 2012 murder of his then-girlfriend, Morgan Martin. The 17-year-old was four months pregnant at the time. Investigators still have not found her body. That was a major factor in the court deciding his fate today. You see, Morgan is from here in St. Petersburg, but statements made by Flowers led them to search in Pike County, Alabama. 10 Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio spent the day in the courtroom and was able to speak with Martin's mother. Morgan Martin's mother, Leah, says she does not forgive Jacoby Flowers. She told the judge she warned Morgan not to go out with Jacoby, but she says Morgan was a trusting person with a good heart. And she was beautiful. And this is just, it just makes me sick every day. <laughs> Leah Martin says Morgan would have been a good mother. But I would have been a grandma. Yeah. And she would have been a great mom. Leah and loved ones never stopped thinking about Morgan 10 years since she disappeared. We're missing somebody that deserves so much better and that I'll never be able to hear that little baby say Nana. In court, Jacoby Flowers, now 34, says he's sorry to Morgan's family and his own. I am a human being. I'm not a monster, despite of what you may think. There's not a day that goes by in the last 10 years that I haven't felt the deepest level of regret and remorse for my actions. But Morgan's family isn't buying his remorse. You killed your own child and my child. 40 years wasn't enough. But then again, a million years wouldn't have been enough for me. Flowers will be serving his time in prison. In the meantime, Morgan's mother says they're hoping someday someone will find Morgan. One day, you know, somebody's out walking and they find her. Um, I've been praying for that for years. Under the original plea deal, according to court documents, Jacoby Flowers could have served a 25-year total sentence if Morgan was found. Despite his sentencing today, Morgan's family says they will never stop searching for her. And Flowers was taken back to Alabama earlier this week to help searchers there. Now, police here in St. Pete say they will not stop looking for Martin's remains even after Flowers is sentenced, but they do feel like they have exhausted all of their options in Alabama. Taking a deeper dive, new technology helped steer investigators toward Flowers. In 2016, a cold case unit was able to connect him to her death using technology that wasn't was not available when she first disappeared. It helped them uh, submit evidence for DNA and fingerprint testing. Some of the cases that they look into are decades old. The Martin case was actually the first one that this unit solved.